Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick update really. My wrist is healing, but it is in a splint. It's not too bad. I'm currently approaching the third week since since the accident. Uh, initially it was all right, I carried on, although I could feel it and I was unable to do jumps and drops after that because it, it did hurt a little bit when I put pressure on it. But it was Sunday morning when I woke up and realised I'd, I'd done some damage to it. I didn't go to the hospital, I know, very naughty. Um, I was, it was my wife's birthday, we were out for the day. I did seek medical advice. They told me to keep an eye on bruising, swelling and pins and needles and I was told to go and get it checked if I was concerned but in the meantime put a splint on because that's all they would do anyway. So that's what I've done. I was able to carry on working. I've done my job, although it was difficult at times, but I can honestly say it is getting better. I am able to do things on it now, but it's more comfortable with the splint on. And I think I think it's just been a sprain, to be honest with you. I don't think it's a fracture or, or anything like that. I, I totally expect to be back on the bike soon, another couple of weeks, and I'll be back. I've had both bikes done, done, ready to go again. Uh, the Alpine had to have a new chain, which resulted in a new cassette, new rear derailleur, and a new shifter. So yeah, that wasn't a cheap, a cheap fix, unfortunately. Also, the Orange Crush, the chain snapped on me on my last ride. Oh well, end of the ride anyway. My chain's just snapped. <laughs> oh dear. So, I've replaced the chain. Fortunately, I got away with not having to change the rear cassette. So that was a simple fix. That's all ready to go again. One thing I have done is I've swapped the grips because I think, you know, I don't know how much grief my wrist will give me when I do get back biking, but I always suffered with arm pump. Really struggling with strength in my hands today, I am, tell you. I don't think my arms will take any more. So I wanted a grip that was going to absorb the trail. Choice of grip is the Ergon GE1 Evo grip. I decided to get another set for the Alpine as well. I may as well have the same grips on both bikes. Because I had a crash in my latest video, which I don't know if it was down to the, the grips being smooth. Because <laughs> there wasn't much grip left on them. But it certainly didn't help. I do intend to do get a few more trail dog videos in as well. And here he is, Oakley. <laughs> a bit of a star in his uh, first video appearance. So yeah, I intend to get a few more of them done. Because he's a natural, aren't you mate? You're a natural. Say hello to the camera. <laughs> Not really talked about the crush in what I think of it and things like that. I've got to say, I do love the crush. When I first purchased the Crush, the brakes, which were the SRAM Guide Tees, now they were terrible. And a guy from Switzerland, Darren, a trail tracker, he came over and he borrowed my orange Crush with these said rubbish brakes. And it was an interesting day for him. It's literally the whole way down those steep bits. Oh, yeah. I've got the levers back to the bars. <laughs> All the way. Terrible. And the wheels are still turning. I mean, I'd, I'd done a few bits of steep stuff with them brakes myself, so I knew exactly how scary that day would, would have been for you. So fortunately, I was able to swap those brakes. I went for the Dior XTs, which I'm going to give a shout out to Jonathan. Viking Viking MTB for those because he had those going spare and I bought them off him and I've not looked back. They are an absolute fantastic break. So all in all, the Orange Crush, I think it's a very capable hardtail. It's not let me down on anything really, apart from my chain snapping. That's the only mechanical I've had on that bike since since buying it. Plus maybe a punchy. Well, we all get punches. I fitted a Maxxis Minion DHR2 double D spec. 
Uh, for the for basically I've on a hard tail, you more likely to get punches. So I went for a thicker tire wall, and so far that's that's been good. Can't fault it at all. Yeah, I've got the same back tire on on the Alpine, but not the double D. It's the the uh, EXO standard version, but with me in full suspension, that's that's going to be all right, I think. I did have issues with the Alpine where I put a massive dent in the rim. I've caught a rock, dented the rim. Oh, you dented, uh, oh yeah, it's a pretty big, that's a... big dent that is. So I had that knocked out. So it is running tubeless. Both bikes are running tubeless. Another problem. Well, it wasn't a problem. It was more of an inconvenience. I was sharing pedals between the Orange Crush and the Alpine. So depending on which bike I took out, I had to swap the pedals over. Now the pedals on the Crush were the same sort of colour as the frame and it annoyed me having to put those on the Alpine. What I've done is I've purchased a new set of pedals for the Alpine and I've gone for the race face chesters. I've not had the Alpine out since all the work it's had done. I'm looking forward to getting back out on it to be honest but I'm, I'm intrigued to see how good these race face chesters are because if I like them I might purchase another set of chesters for the crush. Both bikes, both orange. I've always been an orange fanboy. I've loved my orange bikes. I'm glad they've been able to sort it out and stay alive. So it would have been a real shame to see orange go. I think it was never really in doubt somebody was going to come in and save the day, I think, in the end. Looking forward to getting and visiting, getting out and visiting new places this year. We've been to Dovey once already, we, like I said, we are intending to go back to Dovey, that will be on the Alpine. I shan't, I don't think I'll bother going to Dovey on the hardtail, <laughs> only mad men would do that. Um, there's a few places, there's a place I've not visited for a few years now, called One Giant Leap. I do intend to get back there this year, and I'd also like to tick Scotland off the list. There's a few places in Scotland I'd like to visit, and... Like last year, we had we had a weekend away at the Forest of Dean. That was the highlight of last year for me. Absolutely loved that weekend. Going out, having a few drinks, getting up, going riding. Sober enough as the day goes on. <laughs> if I remember right, it was roasted as well. But yeah, that was fantastic. I've had, I've had a bit of a clear out in the shed as well. I've got myself a new unit. Well, it's not new, it's my our old unit. <laughs> I've decided to reuse in the shed so I can put all my bits and pieces in there. So I'm going to try and do a little bit more bike maintenance myself as well this year. If I get the time, it's, it's so much more convenient to just drop it off at your local bike shop and go work and pick it up at the end of the week. But I've fitted my own chain to the cross, which is it's not hard, is it? Let's be honest, but it's mostly time with me. But I'd like to do certain things myself where possible. Uh, the bikes are nicely tucked away in the corner there. Unfortunately I've got an untidy corner. Blame the wife for that. There's always something that she wants storing away so unfortunately I have to put up with that in my shed. Loads more space in here now and also I shall be purchasing, well I have already purchased a bike for my wife which is only a cheap one to be honest with you. So that'll, there's room for that to go there when that comes. I've had to send it back once because <laughs> it comes with a bent frame. So that wasn't good. This kind of video is not something I do much of really, the vlog type thing where you kind of just do an update and talk about what's going on. I am tempted to carry on doing the occasional update video. You'll have to let me know in the comments if, if you enjoy that kind of content or not. I'm, I'm excited about getting some decent footage on the on the 12 which my wife bought me for Christmas. I've also had an accessory pack from my sister-in-law um, including a selfie stick which is what I'm using now and if you remember the, the dog training video I used like an octopus tripod which I attached to branches and was able to film the theatres and shot. So yeah I've got a few little attachments which I'm looking forward to use so Hopefully the videos will will be a bit more interesting as well. Hope to get a bit more of that kind of footage this year. 
I might upload the occasional full gun video. In fact, I have already uploaded one which you've already seen, which is the, the Beast on the Hardtail video. I might upload another one of those as a bit of a filler. But a couple of weeks back on the bike, hopefully new places, more sketchy trails, steep stuff, more peak district. I do love the peak district and I could never stop riding in the peaks. It's just an awesome place and it's all on my doorstep. Well, I say on my doorstep. I'm quite central to everywhere I ride. We're about between three quarter of an hour and an hour away from the peaks, North Wales, Staffordshire and uh, Shropshire. So yeah, I've got a good mix of trails, so I have to travel to all of them, unless I'm riding along canal paths, which I don't want to bore you with a canal path video for canal feet. Until next time, hopefully you'll be back on the bike. Where? Let's find out. I'm sure it'll be a good laugh wherever we end up. Cheers.